Hi, this is Mike. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Well, today we're going to look at helping you create more money with your YouTube videos, both existing videos, and you can use this technique on videos you create down the road. Well, what we're going to do is turn your video viewers into email subscribers and market to them using my secret sauce technique to maximize your earnings. Okay, well, I'm going to go through four steps with you. One, two, three, four. Four things you need to do to put this technique in place. And after I've gone through those four steps, we're going to reach for Mike's secret sauce right here. Mm, it's wonderful. And what I call my secret sauce is the secret technique that I use with these four steps to greatly improve the amount of money that you make with every one of your YouTube videos. So let's take a look at the four steps, okay? Hey, real quick, Mike here. If you need help with anything that I talk about in this video, download my free in-depth training ebook. There's a link in the description below this video. I know it'll be a big help. First, of course, you need to create a great video, one that engages, entertains, and informs your viewers. Okay, well, the second thing you need is giveaway type products, something to entice people who watch your videos on YouTube to subscribe to your list. Could be an ebook, a report, a video, whatever. These are examples of some of the products I've created to use as giveaway opt in type products for this purpose. It could even be a simple one page report or outline, something like that can work. Well, step three is to set up your autoresponder. Um, I use AWeber as my autoresponder service. You must have an autoresponder service to do anything online. Uh, you can use GetResponse, Constant Contact, MailChimp, so on and so forth. So in my autoresponder service, I create a simple form that looks like this, where somebody can put in their email, click Submit. They're added to my email subscriber list, and uh, then they're taken to you know, wherever I want to take them to. So the way it works is I create a simple HTML page like this and uh, I put an image of my free product I promised to give them and just a brief description. I put that email form that I created in my autoresponder service at the bottom of the page. You can see right there when they put their email in <clears throat> and they click on submit, they go into my email subscriber list. Now they're on my list and then I redirect them to a page where they can download the product I promised them okay and you can do all that in your autoresponder account now if you can't create an HTML page to put your form on your opt-in form on there is a workaround that you can use you can use something like lead pages which is a great service you have to subscribe to it there's a monthly fee but what lead pages allows you to do is create opt-in pages with forms on it just like I showed you earlier. They've got tons, hundreds of different templates you can use. You can put any text you want in there and it says download the report and then they'll have to uh, put their email address in and they can be redirected from there to your uh, download link where they can get their free product, their free report. So if you can't make web pages like that, check out lead pages. Uh, it can do everything you need to have it do. You still need to have an autoresponder account to link it to lead pages, but this is a great service and a lot of people use it. Okay, well the fourth step, the last step is to link your opt-in page to your YouTube video. Let's look at how we can do that. And okay, here's one of my videos right here. And during the playing of the video, I asked them, I offered them a free bonus. It's access to a 10 part uh, video training series uh, dealing with YouTube that I've got. I said, click on the link down below this video. Well, if somebody comes down here and they click on this link, what happens is it takes them to the opt in page. This is a rather long opt in page, but it works well for me. And so if they put their email address in and they click on submit, then they're now in my AWeber autoresponder account. I can send them emails. I can market my own products, affiliate products to them, whatever I want. And as soon as they hit submit, then they can get access to my Tube Mastery Studio site, the free training. And so that's how that works. Okay, well, here's another way to link your opt in page to your YouTube video. Okay, well, here's one of my YouTube videos. I want you to watch this. I'm going to uh, cut the sound out of this so I'm not talking over myself, but I want you to watch what happens after about three or four seconds in this video. Okay, let's take a look. Right there. Now, if you look up in the upper right-hand corner, see where it says 10-part YouTube training? This is the bonus I mentioned in this video, and it's in the description. Now, if somebody comes up here while that's showing and clicks right here, 
and it says Tube Mastery Studio, free access, okay, right there. Again, it takes them to my opt-in page. If they opt in, join my email list, they get free access uh, right away to my Tube Mastery Studio. So if you don't know how to use YouTube cards, uh, Google it up or do a search on YouTube. There's plenty of videos that show you how to do that. That's another way to link your opt-in page to your YouTube video. Okay, well, let's recap. So far, you've created one or more videos. You've created or you've bought an opt-in bonus, and you've set up your autoresponder account, and you've linked your opt-in page to your video. Okay, so now my secret sauce. Suppose your niche is fishing. You've created a video on bass fishing, trout fishing, and walleye fishing. Good. And you've created an opt-in page with a free bonus that you're giving away to get subscribers to your email list. Now, when you look at your, your stats in your creator studio, you see that you've got 280 views on your bass fishing video. So you say to yourself, okay, that's my best video, so what do I do? Well, I'm going to create more bass fishing videos rather than on some other type of fishing. I already know that's my best sub niche. So again, let's look at this. Is it our best video just because it has the most views? If we look at this and we go in our autoresponder account and we see that we've got 46 opt-ins or subscribers to our list from the walleye fishing video, then that tells us that this is really our best video even though it doesn't have nearly the views as the bass fishing video. This is our best video. So here's the huge question. If I'm using the same opt-in page for all three videos, how can I tell which videos my email subscribers are coming from? Well, right now I simply can't tell. So here's the solution. I create a separate opt-in page for each video and I do it in only seconds the easy way. Okay, well here's the folder where I've created my bass fish Bass Fishing opt-in page. This is the opt-in page I just showed you. So on a Mac, what I would do, on a PC it's different. You use a copy and paste function, I think. But on a Mac, all you need to do is click on the file that you want to copy, duplicate, hit Command D, and it makes a copy, exact copy of that. I'll do it one more time. So now I've created, I have three different opt-in pages. A Bass Fishing opt-in page. Whoops, I'm going to call this, uh, let's call this Trout fishing. I've got a trout fishing opt-in page and up here I've got a walleye fishing opt-in page. Now I've got three separate opt-in pages. I need to do one other thing and then we could upload these to our, uh, our uh, web hosting account. We okay so once my forms page pops up it shows all the forms I've got in my web a Weber account alphabetically and uh, what I want to do is come right down here click on preview you can see that's the form I've created for my bass fishing opt-in page so now what I'm going to do is click on copy <clears throat> okay and that simply makes a duplicate form right here okay and I've already designed it it's already set up so what I'm going to do is come over to settings and when I click on settings right here instead of calling this bass form I'm going to call it trout form uh, okay and I would come down here and click on save your form save my form right there and then I'll come over here to where it says publish okay and when it says publish I click on I will install my form and this JavaScript comes up and I copy that and I'm gonna put that on my new opt-in page for trout fishing okay okay well I just opened my uh, <clears throat> The, my opt-in page for my bass fishing uh, video opt-in page. This is in my HTML editor and we don't need to look at all of this but down here this is the opt-in form that goes on my bass fishing opt-in page. What I'm gonna do now, remember I just copied that JavaScript from my Aweber account? I'm gonna paste that in right here and it looks the same but some of these numbers are different. This is the opt-in form for my trout fishing video and what I would do is come up here to save as okay and instead of calling it bass fishing I'm gonna call this trout fishing and I'll save that uh, yeah I'll replace that okay I'll save that okay and here's the new JavaScript I put in there. Now I could upload this page into my web hosting account and I would have an opt-in page for my trout fishing video. 
Similarly, I would make another page for my walleye fishing video. So I'd have three different forms on three different opt-in pages. So on my bass fishing video, I would put a link in my description to my bass fishing opt-in page. On my trout fishing video, I would put a link to my trout fishing opt-in page. And on my walleye fishing video, I would put a link in to my walleye fishing opt-in page. Now, in my autoresponder account, I can sort my list subscribers by the date they subscribed and by the opt-in page they came from. If I'm getting most of my subscribers from my walleye fishing video, then of course I'm going to make more videos on walleye fishing. Fishing with live bait, with artificial bait, fishing from the shore, fishing in the springtime. And doing this will allow you to focus on creating more videos on the topics that get you the most email subscribers to your list. And the bigger your email list, the more money you can make promoting your own products or affiliate products to your list.